Hey guys, what's going on? Today it's Tony with Lomo Paintball and I'm gonna go over basic bunker names and basic bunker calls. All right guys, so let's jump right into the basics here. Let's go over the names of the bunkers first off. So guys, uh, currently um, with the 2018 NXL layout or the WPBO layouts, we will have a tall cake, we will have a can, we will also have a brick. We will also have a temple. We will have a Mayan temple. We will also have a wing, a medium Dorito, a small Dorito, a giant brick. We will also have your snake beams and then your cake also known as a small cake. And we will also have a tree or also known as a lane blocker. All right, guys, so that was just a list of the standard bunker names you're gonna see on uh, most of the 2018 field layouts. And uh, let's jump right into the next thing with the, the basic bunker calling. So a lot of times, guys, you're gonna hear on the field, you're gonna hear numbers one through four, one through five. So what does that exactly mean? So guys, let's say I'm starting down here at the far end start box. We always do numbers uh, left to right one through four, one through five, however many back bunkers there are. So on this particular layout, we're gonna go uh, a back row of one, two, three, four, and five. So basically on this layout from starting from down on the far side, you are gonna look at your back left bunker and that will be your number one bunker. Second in from there, like you're reading a book left to right, this will be your number two bunker. Next, you're gonna have your number three bunker Next, your number four bunker. And here where it kind of gets a little tricky, this is your first Dorito on the field. Most teams will call that your D1. So we won't give that an actual a number value. We're gonna skip over that and we're gonna go to the back right bunker on the field for your number five position. So in the back row, this is only for back row names. This is very basic. A lot of teams start off. You'll have your one, your two, your three, your four, and your five. So one through five in the back row. Let's say if there wasn't a corner, you'd only go one through four, something like that. So onward from there. So then you're kind of wondering, well, I've heard a lot of different calls and most teams have their own unique calls. The one through five or one through four was basic. So then we'll get into the, the Doritos or the D1 and D2. So first here, we have your D1 bunker. Next up the field, you are gonna name that your D2 bunker. Up from there, the next small Dorito is your D3. And then here, right near the 50 yard line is your D4, or sometimes teams will call that your 50 Dorito. So that's very basic, your one through five in the back row, your Doritos. So next, let's move over to the snake side of the field. So normally you're gonna have, uh, if you have a straight ladder snake or a snake that's kind of broken up into different sections, when they first dive in, the player on the opposing team, normally, very basic, you're gonna just call this your S1 position. As he moves downward up the field and throughout the snake, it's going to be the next bunker, whether it be a, uh, a cake or a brick or whatever's in there, would be your S2, and then your S3, or sometimes known S3, is known as the 50 snake. So uh, if you're hearing S3 or S4 or 50 snake, you're probably in trouble at that point in time. So guys, let's kind of break down the center of the field. Ever since uh, 2017 ended, now we're into 2018, we left the big W or the wall behind, and now we're into your giant bricks and your wing bunkers, which is known as your modular set. So guys, um, basically the way uh, it's been over the years, a lot of teams call the bunker technically before the snake or next to the snake, their god bunker. In this uh, general layout, I'm going to name this brick the God Bunker, it's right next to the snake um, and it's not part of the one through five system series. So we're gonna call that a God. And once again, this is just a very, very general uh, basic layout of what teams call their bunkers. A lot of teams, the bunker before the snake is always a God. Their back row bunkers are always a one through four or a one through five. Your Doritos D1 through D3 or D4. And then up the center here is kind of where it gets customized to your individual team because you got a lot of weird bunkers going on up in the center and, and we really don't know, hey, we could 
pick any name you want, but something that's more uh, local to your field or other players around. Specifically, this is what we use. We use S bunkers and D bunkers. And what I mean by that is for snake side and Dorito side, so you can remember easily. There is a tall tower here. It's called your Maya Temple. So that bunker, since it is snake side, it's a very big bunker, probably a bunker that's gonna get played a lot. I'm going to call that Seattle. That starts with an S, it's on the snake side, super easy to remember. I mean, if you made up some crazy name, you're probably gonna have a harder time remembering that. Seattle, snake, S and S, that's how we do it on our team. So let's move over here to this big wing on the Dorito side. Something like this bunker, which it's not a one through five, it's not a Dorito, it's not in Snake, just kind of up the field towards the Dorito side, we would call something like that a Dallas. On the Dorito side, D for Dallas, D for Dorito, obviously, easy to remember, so on and so forth. Up towards the center, you'll have more specialty names, something there's a temple there and there's also a tall tower here. So you could have your Dallas behind and then your Detroit. We can call that Detroit. We're in the uh, you know northern Midwest. So we'll call that a Detroit still on the Dorito side. This one, you could, uh, this temple here, it's kind of up in the middle. It is more towards the snake side, but that would have something like a specialty name, in my opinion, more like a Cobra or a Command Center, something like that. So once again, this is just what we use, uh, super basic, and obviously your S words for the snake side, your D words for the D side, just so you can remember a lot easier. And then you have your, lastly, up the center, up the gut, around the 50 yard line, you can call this your, you know, a lot of people back in the day, it was an A, so they yell A. Last year, in a couple years, it was the wall. He's at the wall. Whatever you guys want to make, up for that center bunker name. It's customizable to your team. Just make sure it's easy. You can say that loudly and it's super um, uh, easy to communicate that. Don't make it uh, a super long name. Make it something that rolls off the tongue easily. You can get out there quickly and your teammates can understand you fully. Before I close out here, guys, I know a couple of you are gonna ask, well, what happens if they get over into our side of the snake? I just continue on. You got your S1, you got your S2, you got your S3. If they pass that 50 yard line into your snake, that would be an S4 or S5, or just simply yell, they're on our side of the snake. All right, guys, and then one last thing we're gonna talk about is when someone out there yells, X teammate, John, Bob, whoever, he's in my mirror. So whatever bunker you are currently in, let's just use our back hands, for example. If I'm all the way back here in my back right corner, and I yell, hey, John, he's in my mirror. That means he is directly in the bunker all the way across the field. The same exact bunker that I'm in, just on their side of the field. All right, guys, that was just a quick overview of the basic bunker names and calls. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comments below. Let me know uh, if you guys liked this video, if it was helpful to the newer players out there. Uh, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and have a good day, guys.